Hey, Kiki readers! Hopefully you saw all our fun puzzle crafts and our puzzle branding article in the 2013 April-May issue of Kiki. We wanted to continue to push the idea of expanding a material. So in the issue, we started with puzzle earrings, then a necklace, a purse, a binder, and a logo t-shirt. So what other ways do you think we can use puzzles as a starting off point to make awesome things? Well, in this video, we are going to make a puzzle picture frame, a custom puzzle, a puzzle fashion scarf, a puzzle pin, and puzzle bobby pins. You can make all the crafts, or just make one if that's all you have time for. You can apply this thinking to all of your creative activities. Ask yourself, how can I push this material? What are all the ways I can work with this material? How can I use this awesome craft I just made as a starting point to make something else? Okay, let's get started and make some awesome puzzle crafts. We are going to start with the fashion scarf. So you see here, I have a craft glue, but E6000 glue will also work. Fabric tack glue would also work and hot glue would also work. So you can decide what glue you think works best for you. And see, I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the back of the puzzle. My working area, I don't mind if I get stuff on it because it's a workspace, but you may want to put a piece of poster board or something like that under your scarf so the glue doesn't stick to the table. And you may want to lift your scarf up a few times if it does stick just to make sure it's not drying to the cardboard. But see, I'm just going to speed things up here, and you can see that I'm doing the same process over and over again. So this is a quick, easy, and fun craft. So here's what it looks like finished on a dress form. Now we're going to move into the puzzle picture frame. And this is a very similar process to the scarf. There are lots of different ways that you could do this. You could actually put part of your puzzle together and cover up parts of the picture so that what you see in the picture is the most important part. So maybe it's a picture of you and your best friend and you cover up everything else but your faces. That could be a fun way to use your puzzles. Or you can do what we're doing right now, which is just gluing them in a decorative manner around the border to decorate the frame. Just as we decorated the fashion scarf, I'm going to put glue with my craft glue on the back of the puzzle and glue it to the frame. But again, you could also use E6000 glue or hot glue or fabric track glue. I'm going to speed it up for you so you can watch the process. Now we're going to move into the puzzle fashion pin. And you'll just see here, you'll need a pin stud here, the pin back. And I went ahead and switched glues to the hot glue gun to show you that you can use multiple kinds of glue. And I also have some gemstones here to use to decorate my pin. And I just started by getting the biggest puzzle piece and gluing that as my foundation. And I'm gonna try and make the shape of a flower with my puzzle pieces, but you can really make any kind of shape or decoration that you want. It could even be a little bit abstract if you don't want it to look like something specific. So make sure anytime you use a hot glue gun that you watch where the metal tip is and that you don't bump your hands and that you don't touch the glue because even though it seems like it's not dangerous, you can get burned pretty bad from a hot glue gun. So be very careful. Now I'm just speeding it up to show you that I'm going all the way around the edges in a circular pattern because I want it to look like a flower. And then I'm just adding my gems in the middle. And there we go. I'm adding a couple extra puzzle petals. And this is what it looks like when it's finished and someone is wearing it. In the same manner we did 
the puzzle pin, we're going to make puzzle bobby pins. This, the only difference from this one to the puzzle pin is you need to be very careful putting the puzzle piece with hot glue onto the bobby pin since the bobby pin is so thin you want to be careful not to burn your fingers. So put a little bit of glue on the bobby pin with your hand away from where you put the glue and then set the puzzle piece on top and you may have to push it in place while it dries. And this is what they look like finished. And last but definitely not least, we have a DIY custom puzzle. And I just started with a printout of a color photo that I thought was interesting. And as you can see here, I'm using a glue stick to try and cover the back as best I can. And then I'm going to paste it onto this foam core board. And the foam core board will be much better to work on than like cardboard. It'll be easier to cut through. So if you want to go ahead and prepare your image by gluing it to some foam core board, we can go ahead and start cutting it into puzzle shapes. So first I'm going to cut my photo out of the foam core board. And maybe you can see I put another piece of foam core board underneath my piece so that I don't cut onto the table. And I'm using a ruler and an X-Acto blade to cut out this shape. But please be very careful when using an X-Acto blade. I line my ruler against the edge of the photograph and then I lean the X-Acto blade against the ruler to cut a straight line. But keep your hand as far away from the blade as possible. Now, keeping my hand as far away from the blade as possible, I'm going to put pressure on my photograph while I use my other hand to draw fun shapes with the X-Acto blade. The key to this is to have a very sharp X-Acto blade so that it doesn't cut jagged edges in the foam. So you may have to change your blade often. But remember to be very careful anytime you work with something with a blade. Now I'm just going to speed this up so you can watch how I do this. Sometimes if it gets stuck, I flip it over on the back and I cut the shape out from the back too. And you can get creative and fun with your shapes. They can be any shape you want. Now see, I just changed the blade because it was getting too dull. This is just an extra tidbit, but I took an old puzzle box and then I took a printout of my puzzle image and I covered the top of the box like wrapping paper so that now I have a custom puzzle box for my custom puzzle. So you could use this as a gift or a craft project to sell. It's just always good to think about packaging too when you're thinking about a product that you're making. Now let's see if I can put this puzzle back together. Whew, that was harder than it looked. Now that you have made so many puzzle crafts, let's stretch our minds even more. What other ways could you use puzzles as a starting off point to make awesome stuff? Number one, use puzzles as your source to design a fabric print and have it printed. Number two, glue puzzles on a belt like we did the fashion scarf. Number three, glue together a bow shape from puzzles and glue it to a blank headband. Number four, draw puzzle shapes on the front of a greeting card so the receiver can cut out their own puzzle. Number five, use wire to make your own puzzle knot ring. Number six, paint the pieces solid colors, punch a hole in the middle, and string them onto a chunky bracelet. Your turn! What awesome puzzle projects can you think of? Take a second to write and sketch those ideas. Keep making great stuff. Even if you make something you think is bad, it is a great starting point for something else. Thanks for watching and have a great day. The end.